What's up guys and welcome back to part two of our trip to the Exumas. We left off anchored in the crystal clear waters of Samson Key. In this episode, we will start by snorkeling the waters around David Copperfield's island and visit his legendary mermaid playing the piano, as well as go to a regatta on Baratari, play with sharks and barracuda at Prime Key, and visit a Nazi castle. I hope you're ready for an adventure. Protected? That seemed easy. <laughs> I didn't even know they could get that big. This thing is like the, as wide as the dinghy. I can tell you one thing for sure, the folks down in Baratari know how to throw a party. After waking up with a bit of a headache, we headed back north to Black Point to do some laundry and hide out from some approaching bad weather. We ended up seeing multiple water spots on the run. All right, ready? One, two, three, go. All right, Mike. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> I'm literally slammed. Here we go. What? Where are you going? I don't know in case the wife made the 
<laughs> I cannot thank our friends Garnell and Harvey enough for the fantastic surprise dinner they made us. When anyone asks me what my favorite island in the Bahamas is, I'm always quick to respond with little farmers. It's not just the beauty of the island that I love, but the people. Every time we drop anchor here, we always say we're home. After dinner, we were invited to our friend Julian's birthday party where we drank gin and fresh coconut juice while slamming some dominoes. South of Farmers, there are two islands called Big and Little Darby. They are named after one of its earliest inhabitants, an Englishman named Sir Baxter Darby. Sir Baxter was a Nazi sympathizer during World War II and built a castle on this island in 1938, which he used to aid German U-boats in resupplying. As you approach the entrance between the two islands from the north, you can see a channel has been dredged that is easily big enough for a U-boat to pull in. Nineteen forties. Oh, that's when the Nazis were Nazi, right? Mm. Oh, there's the fireplace. Do 
Do we dare go upstairs? Sure. Let's do it. What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Now, wow, look at these steps. Yeah, really up the code. Fucking <sighs> wind. That's a corner. Oh, God. Almost fell just there. Yeah, that one steps two inches. How you doing, Mikey? This shit is not up to code. <laughs> I killed drugs. <laughs> oh, the dinghy's still afloat. That's, that's good. Considering what it's pressed up against. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know you're scared. You want to hide away sometimes. I know you heard from everyone telling you lies. You just wanna lose your mind. I know you heard. I know you heard. Let it out, let it out, just feel it. Let it out, cry it all out to me. When you're down, when your heart stops beating, you you got me. You always got me. Oh 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 What's that? Snorkel talk. It's only 84. It's too cold. She wouldn't want to get in. 84 is too I cold. Didn't say that? Oh my god. <laughs> this is the best spot I've ever screwed. I can see your feet from here. It's like a swimming bowl. I mean, that's a bottom cleaning at its best right here. Don't have to put your head in. <laughs> nice soft sand down below. Oh, Dustin is scrubbing. Yeah. After waiting out a few nasty storms, we all pitched in to clean the bottom of the boat in preparation of our run back home. As Marilyn Monroe said, nothing lasts forever. So live it up, drink it down, laugh it off, avoid the drama, take chances and never have regrets. Because at one point, everything you did was exactly what you wanted. Since we had a 14 hour crossing from South Andros back to Marathon, Florida, we decided to leave at 4 a.m. and motor across the Great Bahama Bank in the dark so that we would still have some light later that night while we anchored.
there's a herd running right there. Little crusty. Oh my goodness, you're right. Holy cow, that's a lot of salt. So crusty. Well folks, that's a wrap on our 2023 Exumas vacation. Thanks for staying till the end and I hope to see you soon out on the water. Are you peeing? No. Sounds like you're peeing. It's the tides. Oh, it's the tides. Tides, they you know. Yep. Yeah. Indigenous people who inhabited this place tens of thousands of years ago. You're so knowledgeable. we got to do.